Hey guys, fun little project today. We are going to put a basketball hoop up on a tree. Why? Why not? Just want to have we just want to have one in the backyard just to practice shooting, you know, instead of going out onto the street into the driveway sometimes. Um, plus it'll just be something fun to have in the backyard. This is gonna come down soon and we're gonna actually pull the tree house up here too. So check for that video in the near future. But we're gonna put a hoop at the 10 foot mark where the rope is. Um, picked this up on Craigslist for 10 bucks, I think. Old used hoop, but it will work just fine. Came with a new net, brand name, old school. And came with this particle board style backboard which is probably not good for outdoors. So I'm either gonna reinforce this and paint it with some outdoor paint that I use on my deck I have left over, or I have some scrap plywood here that I might use and paint that. So I'll get started on that and show you guys what it looks like. So I decided to go with a brand new board that is just a little bit smaller. It's uh, 32 inches wide and 22 tall. Uh, I don't need a big backboard because this is to practice shooting, not bank shots. And we weren't going to paint in the rim, but it's pretty beat up, so we want to, you know, protect it. So I found some old spray paint, so we'll try to make something work with that. Here's the progress of our backboard. The hoop's going to be blue. We'll do a little yellow square on the backboard. We move the ropes around, and now we can install. All right, so to measure the correct height of uh, 10 feet of the ground, you know, we're going to be shooting back here. So over here, it's elevated. So what I did is I leveled the section out. I ran a board across, measured the height that I need to be on the difference of the tree base and the ground we'll be standing on, which is nine and a half inches. So now I'll just have to subtract that from the height when going up the tree. And we got a mark at 110.5, which is about 9.1 feet of this base which is 9.5 inches higher than the actual ground. Now we can figure out how to do the installation. That should be fun. So here is a mountain base, a couple of screws and a bolt, and I will secure it. It's a 15 degree slope, so now we gotta cut a beam with a 15 degree angle. And then once we mount that, the backboard will connect to that. And here is our fancy leveled base now. Nothing special, just got to get it leveled so it's all even. I would say that's a nice matching combo. The blue came out awesome on the rim, something different. And now we can install it up there. So just a few screws to hold the backboard on. And now we're going to use some bolts to screw it fully with the rim. And that should work just fine. So on the top section of the room here, I'm using these regular bolts, but I'm using threaded for the bottom because regular bolts are gonna be too long to get the angle. This is in the way right here. So we're just gonna drop it like that, install these first, and then we'll finish with the top ones. And there it is, guys. It's heavy duty. You could technically hang on it, but I don't want to bend the rim. We'll bolt it up. And that's it. Let's get the net on. And there it is, guys. Completed hooks. Notice this is old rim, so I only had eight hooks for the net, so I had to double some of them up as the new nets have 12. But it looks awesome. There's some practice shots, and we are done. Guys, thank you for watching. Hope you like this idea and I hope you can use this to do something yourself. Please subscribe, please give me a thumbs up and comment if you want to see something new. Thanks.